Well done. This blue wristband means you're really proving yourself at the festival. Keep going. Jump, jump through the base. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Slav Train, and welcome back, guys, to some Highway to Horizon 2. Today's gonna be episode number 17, and as you guys can see, we just picked up our blue wristband, which is gonna let us into some C, B class, another C class, B class, and an A class. Okay, so do we have anything else higher? We have another B class. So it looks like realistically, the best bet is gonna be able to be building a C and B class car to get all these out of the way. Um, looks like there's another few over here. What is this? S class. Okay, okay. So we actually have some S classes, and it looks like another restoration car is ready to go from our barn find. So let me just throw on these control freaks real quick. All right. So what we're gonna be doing right now is first checking our mailbox. We always, you never know what could be in your mailbox right now. So let's have a look here, and that's gonna be in the message center. And we have some new gifts from my man, Mr. Awesome 96. So appreciate it, my man. 458 Spider and a Super as well, too. So let's pick up all these cars right now. Absolutely awesome. I'm driving that MP4 right now. You already know that thing's going to be killing the damn track right now. But today I wanted to give a special shout out. And this is a, a special shout out to a man that has been putting in a lot of work on the YouTube. Now, you know, you can always see, you know, the hustle and the grind when they're actually, you know, when they're putting in their work. And this is going out to that dude in blue. Now, this man is absolutely skyrocketing um, through the ranks of YouTube. Now, very, very quickly as well, too. Now, um, he was like at 50K like last month, and now he's hovering just over 74,000 subscribers. This man is flying through the ranks of YouTube and I said it the first day that I seen this man's content I said you know what this man is gonna be going far this guy puts a lot of work in this guy is mostly uh, car like oriented in terms of you know real life reviews um, you know movies montages stuff like that now this man's got crazy amount of videos up um, you know doing reviews I think his most popular uploads sleeper status 330 horsepower four-door review Jasmine the XX HP Evo review um, there's just, there's a lot of stuff on his channel. Now, one thing that I wanted to point out for you guys was Rally North America, the movie. Now, if you guys got a little bit of time on your hands, it's a 50-minute video, um, where he actually travels through the Rally Road Race through North America, and he has, you know, his, he has his old GoPro with him, um, he does a lot of footage with that, some nice little montage edits as well, too, and it's a really cool little concept. Um, I, I was watching a little bit of it before the start of this episode. And, you know, if you get a ticket during this road rally, you're actually disqualified from the event. So you have to make sure you don't get any tickets whatsoever. And as he was saying in the video, you know, it's very tough with the amount of open road that they give you in this road rally. So it's it's a very cool thing to do. Um, and if you guys have some extra time, we'll be at 169K. Appreciate it. If you guys have some extra time, go and check out David Patterson and that dude in blue. Give him a little... Uh, little subscribe button if you guys are new to his channel lots of great things he has mostly as I said all real life things going on in his channel nothing to do with really Forza but he does play Forza as well too and he does live stream Forza um, from from time to time so make sure you guys go check him out link will be in the description box below for you guys to go have a look at but I mean, like I said man it's crazy to see people coming up that fast I mean really when you're following a channel you you know you go to look at it one day and it's at you know like 70k from 50k you're like damn man this man's doing something right so make sure you guys go check him out link will be in the description box below and I want to be doing a dual com with this man I want to get in a little tandem session with him on Forza 5 and you know maybe ask him some questions we gotta change cars man we got better cars than this right now but yeah I would love to get a dual com session in with him and um, you know Maybe ask him some questions about his channel, this and that. So if you guys want to see some more of that dude in blue on the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button below and let me know in the comments. And go over to David Patterson's channel and let him know as well too. Maybe say, hey, Slap Train wants a dual com. You know what I'm saying? I'll be down for that. I'll be down. So this is a S-Class 458 Ferrari. And it uh, looks absolutely vicious. Courtesy of my man, Mr. Awesome. You guys don't know him. Longtime member with the crew. He used to play with us back in Forza 4 days for a long time, and then he got interested in some FIFA action. So, uh, he kind of died out, but no, I'm just kidding, Mr. Awesome, I know you're watching. But, um, so, oh my god, this thing is vicious right now. Mm. 
That morning Java, though, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god, dude. Alright, so, let's go to the first event right now. I believe it's right here, and hopefully there is no restrictions at all. Is there any restrictions? Uh, current car of eligible. Perfect. Let's go get it. Ooh, there's four, five, eight screams. Alright, let's go. Now, one big thing uh, that happened to me yesterday morning, uh, I posted a post on the forums. Now, I got access to... Oh! I got access to my old account from my old YouTube channel, which was P. Jenkins. And um, I was able to actually post on the forums, but I had to have the mod approve the post. So I made a massive post, you know, just saying how the community I feel is kind of falling apart from, you know, points to drifters. Um, and, you know, just trying to just get everybody back in the groove of, you know, on the forums, having a good time, being respectful of each other. And I went back today. It was a big post, man. It was probably like, it took me about a good 20 minutes of my time to write this. And I come back today because it said that the post had to be approved by a moderator. So I said, okay, okay. Now, in the post, I did say that I was a slap train. Now, I didn't say anything about me being banned on my other account. And I come back today and the account has been suspended. Nowhere seeing my actual post on the forums. And um, now I have no account to post on again. So I'm a little bit frustrated right now, and I would like to know why I keep getting banned on the forums, man. I don't understand what it is. I'd like to know why I was banned originally on the forums. And, you know, people were saying it's because I ran modded cars. Well, I'm not banned on the game, and I ran modded cars, you know, back when it was all finished, said, and done. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, everybody had them one day or another, and I got mine from Gifted people i guess you could say you know what i'm saying but i just want my damn account back man that's all that i want i want to be able to post on the forums i don't understand what they're afraid of or you know what i did wrong to you know screw up their terms of service but if i am banned shouldn't i be banned on the games as well too that doesn't make any sense so i feel like i have you know some some for oh that's my bad i'm gonna restart that i feel like i have some uh you know form hate on the form mods and just have you know a bad taste in their mouth and um, for some reason they just keep on banning me and I don't understand what it is it's, it's very frustrating because I feel like they're just fanboys that are the four mods and they just keep on banning me left and right with no explanation whatsoever so I've been tweeting out at Forza Motorsport asking you know why I keep getting banned but no answer whatsoever so I mean I'm just trying to help their community out man the community that they broke down and it's funny because I didn't really think of this until well I mean I kind of did but it never really was in you know my mind to say now I was watching another video yesterday and I'm gonna be linking all these in the description box below I know I say that I do and I never do but it is in there today so have a look but I was watching um, a video from my man Edmar one now if you guys don't know Edmar look at the pull of this 458 get out of here Woo! that was nice but yeah so I was watching a video from my man Edmar one oh my god this is actual sprint race we gotta haul ass right here and he was discussing about the Forza 5 community and, you know, how it's fallen apart and why he feels it's fallen apart. And this man made, oh, that way, oh, man, that's my bad on that one. We just destroyed the hell out of this 458. My bad, my bad. And he was telling us about, you know, why he feels that the community has fallen apart and why. This man made some amazing, amazing comments about the Forza 5 or Forza Motorsport community in general. He said the day that Forza Motorsport community died is the day that they tried to change the way that we interact or the way that we do things. Now, I'd like to get an exact quote on here because I just feel like it's necessary. Um, so we're going to hop on to Ed March's channel. I'll leave the video in the description box below for you guys, but it's a very, very good watch. Um, I, I feel that, you know, because he's a smaller channel, he only has 500 subscribers on his channel. Um, I would definitely appreciate if you guys went over to his channel, subscribed. He's a wheel drifter as well, too. Does some amazing commentaries. I believe he's from the UK, if I'm not mistaken. But um, this man has some amazing comments in this video. Now, he says... Turn 10 tried to change the way the community behaved, and it was killed. 100% agree with this man. Um, you know, I feel that Turn 10 had a really strong community going, and they let it fall apart. And they, you know, they did more to just fuel the fire of it falling apart. And that is really essentially why that community is no longer existing, is because they tried to change the way that we interact with people. Couldn't agree more with you, Edmard. And, you know, I feel that... Today, community's done, man. It, it's it's just going to fall apart even more 
because of the fact that, you know, they don't care about the drifting community. And that's where the heart of the community lies on Forza. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Yes, there's still a community in the circuit racing and in the, and, and the drag racing and such, that. but the strongest community is the DL, hands down. Absolutely hands down. The Drift Lounge holds everything together. Now, we need a B-class car. Evo. I may be down for that Evo life. Now, that was gifted by us by Mr. Awesome as well. Now, where's our Super at? There it is. That's an S-Class Super. Okay, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, and that's an R3 car. So, what we'll do is we're going to go head over there in that Lancer. Where the hell did I go? There we go. We're going to get in that car. B-Class, though, mind you, so we can do a lot of these events. Hmm. But, yeah, so, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just been a battle. And, I mean, going forward to a Forza Motorsport 6, it's not looking good for them. And, you know, they're just going to keep just issuing, you know... I don't even want to say anymore, man. They're just... It's its very frustrating as a Forza fan to see the forms fall apart and not be able to do anything about it. Um, you know, yes, I posted a video yesterday about it, and I feel like hopefully that'll bring some people over, but, you know, why support a cause where I'm still banned on the cause and for no reason nonetheless? You know what I'm saying? So it's its very frustrating. Um, I feel like there's, you know, there's no need for me to be banned whatsoever. They're just throwing on unnecessary fuel to their fire. And it's just its just absolutely ridiculous, man. It really is. So we'll see what happens. We'll see if I get unbanned at all. But, oh, this Lancer is nice, though. And this actually has, this is made by my man, Mr. Awesome. This actually has a lot of the decals on here are specifically made for me, which is really cool. So thank you very much, Mr. Awesome. Look at this car. It's got my damn YouTube on there. It's got fat lace all over the damn car, Falcon tire, and Menace Rides on the very back. Now, if you guys don't know what Menace Rides is, uh, it was a group that we made back in Forza 4 as a community, um, and that was our car group, and that was actually my real-life car group in real life, and that is why that name came to be. So, now we're on the Tandem Kings. It's a completely different thing now. Forza 5, you know, we're all about the Tandems. And um, I guess we ended up hopping ship over there. So, oh, damn. Okay, okay. Here we go. This Lancer is not as fast as I expected to. And I mean, obviously, this does not have rally gears in it. You guys can tell. So I'm assuming it does not have rally tires in here. So it's got to have a racing transmission in here. You can hear it by the way the car shifts. It's just it's a very fast shift, right? So it's got to have racing gears, racing clutch. Um, and probably I'd say pushing maybe you know 500 horsepower or so, maybe a little bit less. I'd say probably less actually to be honest with you. But it's a nice joyride though. I mean, look at this thing in the interior. It looks nice. You know what I'm saying? It's not too shabby. Well, let's see if it handles. Nice. Oh my God. I'm gonna go rally line. Oh no! Damage the front hood. My bad. Mr. Robbins probably like, man. That was my damn car right there. All right, let's go. Let's go. New fast travel destination discovered. Okay. Now, going back to the Forza 5 comment, um, I really feel that, you know, everything can be resolved if they just listen to us and bring back... Oh, that was a right. I wasn't listening to our GPS. Let's go. I feel like they can fix everything by just putting in user-created lobbies. And I don't understand, you know, why they haven't done that. You know, why have they not done anything? And I know I'm getting very close to another rant video about Turn 10 community and stuff like that. I mean, I'm about to lose my damn Skittles on them, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't believe this. I admit, I couldn't see you getting this far. She couldn't see us getting this far. Appreciate it, girl. Absolutely appreciate it. Thank you. Had no faith in us, man? This is some bullshit right now. can't believe that, man. <sighs> These people right now, you know what I'm saying? They never damn mix. They never think that we can do big things. I don't understand. I really don't. Mm -mm -mm. Damn coffee in the morning. You have no idea how good this tastes right now. You have no idea. All right, festival race. Fat lace chase. <laughs> that sounds hilarious. Duke, I'm gonna choke you out by your tie, my man. Get out of here. All right, here we go. Oh, that launch! Grab right at 3,000 RPM on that. That was beautiful. Try and get by Swift in his R34. That thing looks like a beast. 
Get out of here! Alright, here we go. Oh! Try not to damage this car up. I don't want to hit anybody in here. That's the plan, at least. And, I mean, Horizon 2 is going to have now drive guitars. I don't know if I like that, to be honest with you, just because of the fact that I'm so used to, you know, people actually driving properly. You know what I'm saying? That is one of the reasons why I loved driving in single player was because of, um, you know, how fluent these drivers were and, you know, how respectful they really were to you. And now we're going to have drive guitars all over again with people all over the road. We're going to get that pass. The fourth gear pass. Oh, man, we got it. We got some people slowing up here. Let's see what Kane's doing. Oh, pylons everywhere. All right, we got that damn. Oh, okay. Come here, my dude. This car handles so nice. We don't even have to get off the gas to turn these corners, which is why I love. Excuse me, Subi. Oh, beautiful pass on that. We're going to have to downshift this. Oh, no. Jet. There goes my damn mirror. My bad, my bad. Let's put that mirror back on. Put it on. Appreciate it. All right, let's hit this again right now. My bad on that, guys. My bad. I usually don't use the rewinds, but we had to use it this time. You know what I'm saying? Grip it. Oh, man. This thing is crazy, though, man. I really do think that this, you know, has so much grip on the track, it's ridiculous, especially for this car, so Mr. Awesome, whatever the hell you did on this thing, oh boy, <laughs> whatever you did on this thing is working, man, because this thing is a monster on the track, absolute beast, and I'd love to try this on the rally sections as well, too, because this thing is crazy, Woo! coming in through the side, man, through the e-brake out on that, absolutely loved it, give me that first place as well, too, appreciate it, 16k, what do you mean? She didn't think that we were going to make it? That's not very nice. Mm. 140 points for our new wristband. I'm about it right now. Now as well too, I want to get doing some more Horizon lobbies. You know, considering Horizon is very close to its uh, expiry date. Um, you know, September 30th is right around the corner. It's already July 17th or July 18th, sorry, when this video is posted. And, um... I want to get going some more lobbies, maybe a car show, um, you know, doing some other things as well too. So we're going to go over to the street race hub. Um, I'm thinking of hitting the race center first and uh, picking up our 458 again because I would love to be able to drift that for a little bit here. So let's go back to the upgrade lot and I just want to bring it over to Carson area. I believe that's Carson, if I'm not mistaken, and, uh, you know, run some drifts with the 458. It's not every day you get a damn supercar like that in your garage, you know what I'm saying? So, I'd appreciate it. All right, where is that baby? Oh, there she is. Let's get into this thing. Oh. My. God, man, this thing's going to be nice right now. I am about that life 110%, man. All right. Let's get out of here and let's see. Oh my god, dude. Pull a 180. Look at this thing, man. Imagine able to drive your own Ferrari 458 and just have your way with it. You know what I'm saying? Just do whatever you want to do with the damn car. It's up to you. Oh, okay, okay. This thing handles so nice, man absolutely love it and i cannot express how good these cars felt on the wheel when i had it man when i had that full fanatic set up these cars were so nice on the wheel we almost got killed right there brakes are not bad actually a lot better than i expected oh excuse me oh man okay In 400 yards, oh shit right. we gotta turn right in 400 I feel like it's not coming up fast enough. Oh, here it is. Turn right. Don't hit that damn tree, whatever you do. Listen, this thing go through gears is just... Oh, man. It's just so... It just puts a smile on your face listening to this thing. This thing is nice. Alright, I know we missed our corner, but like I said, that was not the point. We're gonna go around this flower pot. Try not to hit it. That was terrible. 
Alright, we're going to the uh, actual lot over here. Second gear looks to me like it's going to be the money gear for drifting right now. Wall tap flower pot. No. Oh, I remember that jump. All those knights of king. Damn. I just tapped that wall. Alright, here we go. We're going to go through these box areas right now. Oh! Alright, alright, so this is where I wanted to go was in here. Um, this was actually a lot of fun back when this game came out. Back when we first found these. I still remember when I first found these. I was like, oh my god, that is hella dope. Now here we go. I'm gonna see if we can slide this out. Again, we have to be in first to second gear on this just because of the wheel spin on this car. Ah! This car is not the greatest for this section, but let's see how it does in the box areas though. Oh, okay. It's not gonna make it. No, control freaks popped off and everything. Car's nice, but it's not meant for these smaller sections. I'll tell you that right now. So let's see if we can throw it out right here. Oh, that whip though. You've seen that, right? That was crazy. Car handle's not bad. I mean, it's decent for what it is. Obviously, like I said, has a lot of grip on this thing, so it's not usually going to hold through these shorter- Oh, Glass is all over the damn road on there from our headlight. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of How Highway to Horizon 2. If you did, make sure you guys slap that like button as always. Leave your feedback in the comment section below, and don't forget to check out That Dude in Blue's channel and Edmard One's channel in the description box below. Chaboota Slap Train, I'm out. Peace.